All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to talk about how to utilize your Steam Games wishlist, what it's for, how it can be used to help you save money, and also uh, how you can control things like if it's viewable by other people on the platform. So when you want to add games to your Steam wishlist, all you have to do is navigate to that games store page on the platform and then click on this button down here underneath of like the preview media window where they show you like pictures and footage from the game and click on add to your wishlist. You can also follow the game. This will um, follow the item to see announcements and other stuff on your community activity fee that's under here under your home, under a community. Um, and there's also the ignore button, so this stops showing up on your Steam games page when you're trying to shop around for games. Like, let's say you just don't want to play a certain genre of games, so when they keep popping up, you just click the ignore button. So we're just going to click on add this game to my wish list. This will allow it to show up in this button up here in the upper right-hand corner above the search bar, and this is my wish list. Now, in years past, the whole idea of a wish list on the internet was so that you could keep a running list of stuff that you want so that you can keep track of them. And then let's, let's say your friends want to buy you something for your birthday or for Christmas, they can go in here and see, oh, Larry wants to play farm folks. Let me grab that for him. And then they, you know, all of that stuff. Now this can show up either just for you or just for everybody, uh, based upon your privacy settings on steam. Um, I will cover that in a whole other video tutorial after this, but that's a good way to make sure that if you want this to be a private list so that other people aren't creeping on stuff that you're keeping an eye on, you can do that. Um, nowadays, this is a really handy list to have because when any of these games go on sale or become available for playing, like let's say Super Zoo Story comes out and I forgot about it, it will send me an email and it will send me a notification to the Steam app on my phone. So that's really handy to see. And if any of these games are games that I really want, but let's say I don't really want to play or pay $30 for Bendy and the Dark Revival, and I'd rather wait for it to go on sale, by having this game in my Steam wish list, it will send me a notification as well to my email and the app when these games go on sale, which is usually very helpful because when it goes on sale on like a Steam winter sale, It'll tell me how much it's on sale for so that I can snap it up if it drops down to like, I don't know, five, ten dollars. So that's a pretty good savings and you can save a lot of money that way. If you're trying to find a game and you have a lot of stuff in here, you can search for that game by name. So I can type in farm and any game with farming in it or farming in the name will pop up. My time at Sandrock is one of them. It's a farming simulator. I can also sort in the options here by games that are less than $5, less than $10, which again, this is all built around what's currently going on sale. So you can say, is it on sale 50% or more or 75% off or more? And then you can also rank them by your ranking that you've given them, the name, price, discount, date added, all of this stuff to help you navigate and find stuff that's inside of this list so you can buy stuff that you want when you want. And then let's say, you know, like, the gimmick has kind of worn off for Colonel Sanders simu like dating simulator. You can click on this button down here in the lower right corner of this little grace like block here and then click to remove it from your wish list so it doesn't show up here anymore. So that's all pretty handy to have. It's a great way to keep track of games you want so you don't forget about them or like let's say it's like two in the morning before you go to bed and you're like, oh, this game looks cool, but I don't want to forget. You can add it to your wish list to view it later. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to use your wish list to save some money and to keep track of games on Steam. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.